black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The Overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. The men are recovering well from the attack, but they don't understand the danger they're in. My mother warned me never to make an enemy of a witch. Corvo, here to settle our debt. You understand, I won't make this easy for you. Thomas has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. Begging your pardon, Dowd, but I don't think it's safe to leave these overseers holed up in the refinery. It's a new game now. They know where to find us. We just have to make them afraid to. 
They're not afraid to die for their seven strictures. Them? No. But the men who give the orders are a different breed. All the same, I'd better give them a hand. Just in case the prisoners try anything. They say he let Rothwild live. Is Dow getting soft? Rothwild's not coming back anytime soon. You should spend more time thinking about your form. Corvo's out there, Dowd. It's a matter of time before he shows up here. He's got the Lord Regent's army to chew through first. What are you going to do when Corvo arrives? He won't make it past the Weepers and the River Crusts. The city's changed since he was the Royal Protector. If Corvo... Enough about Corvo. You should be preparing for Brigmore. As you wish. Taking prisoners is exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. You don't have to remind me. It's Billy's doing that the Overseers found us. That wasn't Dowd. Dowd should have caught it. And now witches? He's not the man he was. Quiet. You're going to get us killed. Dowd. Ever vigilant, I see. Are we leaving soon to Brigmore? Interesting times, gentlemen. Overseers in the flooded district. Witches abroad in the city. Traitors in the ranks. I'd be nervous, too. Then I'd remember who killed the Empress in Dunwall Tower, and came out untouched. This will hold while we're away. Anything short of cannon fire. Let's hope it won't come to that. I've made a mess of the access ways, but it had to be done. If I come back, I'll take it all down. We'll be back. And then you can burn those overseer drapes while you're at it. Thomas finished his scouting run. When you've talked to him, I'll give you the latest word from inside the prison.
I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Coldridge. We can use this. We'll get her out. And Stride will have to pay back the favor. We'll have our transport. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? At your pleasure. After Corvo's escape, it's going to be more difficult to break into Coldridge. They've installed arc pylons, and they're blurring overseer music over the loudspeakers. Our talents will be suppressed until we get inside. I have other talents. They've got Arnold Timshin there. Same wing as Lizzie Stride. The barrister. He'll bring some class to the neighborhood. Last thing. There's an execution planned in the courtyard. Should draw a lot of eyes away from you. They know how to make a man feel welcome. Is it time to go, sir? Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players. Gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river. Someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall. Or perhaps myself. That after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. This should get me in the front door at least. Looks like I'll need to check in with those guards by the gate. Overseer. About time, Overseer. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits. Understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it.
They don't hesitate to kill their own. This disguise won't help me if I'm caught in a restricted way. disappearance from custody. For gross dereliction of duty and the reasonable suspicion of treasonous conspiracy, I hereby sentence you to death. Ready. Take aim. Fire! Private Morris, you refuse to pursue Corvo into the sewer complex on the day of his escape. You displayed cowardice in the face of a national crisis, and I hereby sentence you to death. Ready. Take aim. Fire! Watch Officer Thorpe. You provided Corvo Atano the means of his escape, and have confessed to receiving both money and plague serum in return. For high treason, I hereby sentence you to death. Ready. Uh, oh, I'll find you. Uh, Why did you save me? I'm looking for Elizabeth Stride, a prisoner, a gang leader out of Draper's ward. The whole place heard her come in. She's in cell C-28. It's on the very top level. You can check the logbook in the guard station between section C and D. Section B are under quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observed for of infection. This mask won't fool with our pylon. office. And Officer Thorpe? Thorpe slipped him the key. Everyone knows that. He got so weak. Supposed to they paid him evil. off, but he couldn't tell us who it was. And believe me, he <clears throat> wanted to by the end. You've seen Corvo train, haven't you? Once he had the key, there was no stopping him. And the way he went off that bridge? How do you stop a man who'll make a jump like that? Like he doesn't care. Or like he's more than human. You think he's a... Uh, I think we played that overseer noise for a reason. I think there's more happening here than any of us know. I'm not 
not saying it would be easy, but I can do it. Once the cell doors open, you? How? In the first rush, I take two, three, before they get their swords out, pick up their pistols. I'm a good shot. How good? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a fact. If I keep moving, I can take the rest one on one. It'll be bloody, but it's doable. You're not thinking. If a fight even starts, you'd be finished. When that alarm goes, your odds are just about zero. Me? I just keep quiet. Slip by when no one's looking. Take as long as it takes. Either way, you'd have to be lucky. And a complete madman. You'd have to be Corvo, in other words. All prison personnel will stay clear of the interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey has certified it is free of any heretical corruption. Anything about what happened. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't let you through here. Understand? mistake. I'm a barrister. I've got all your names. Morgan and Taylor and Cooper and Wilkins and Linden. They'll go into a signed notarized deposition. I've sent word to the Lord Regent's office. None of you understand what I can do to you. It's almost laughable, isn't it? When you think about it, duty, you're signing your own death warrants. Let me out. Let me out of here. Trembling hands, blood from the eyes. Any day now it'll start. Head directly across the yard and through the door. It's in the interrogation room. And don't forget, the rest of the prison is off limits. Don't get caught wandering around. Right. Anyone see the problem with this? There's no way you're getting past here, so move along. What happened here?
You're free to go. This is the Abbey's problem now. Do whatever you need to do. I'm not sticking around. And don't leave any, what do you call it, black magic lying around. I don't want to be cursed or anything. You should pay. I can smell you from here. Another night. Another patrol with you. That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. Licks you. Oh, crap. Better make a pass over oh. here. Ah. Why is no one making rounds over here? Ah. All cells in Section B are under quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observed for signs of infection. Help! Someone's breaking out! Guards, come quick! Someone is trying to escape! running around the city in a mask, executing people he doesn't like. All You're prison crazy. personnel will stay clear Tell of the interrogation him. room no, no. until the representative I've seen it. from the Abbey is certified in his the right of any heretical crime. What was he like? Cold. Thoughtful, almost. I bet when he left here, no one saw a thing. Not until their neck snapped. That was then. You're forgetting about the Empress. That was when he had something to lose. People don't change that much. Oh, yes, they do. You just haven't been there to see it happen. Who's there? Uh, are you a guard? You're not, are you? Listen, I'm a powerful man. All you have to do is trip the mechanism to open this cell, and anything you want will be yours. There's been a terrible mistake, and once it's been corrected, I'll control half the city. <clears throat> Please, pay attention. Who are you? A kitchen worker? A groundskeeper? This is the chance of your miserable lifetime. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observed for signs of infection. Where's Harold? He's not in his cell. 
Check the log. We've been moving people around to make room for the politicals. This never happened under the Empress. Someone will hear you. And it wasn't easy with the Empress around. She'd hold inspections with the Royal Protector trailing after her. I wish we'd taken care of him. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. Prison personnel will stay clear of the interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey has certified it is free of any heretical corruption. When I get out of here, I'm gonna tear you apart. You hear me? Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm coming for you. If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna kill you. Sure you are. Enjoy your dark cell in the meantime. Bastard, just you wait. You messed with the wrong guy. <laughs> Shut up, already. This controls all the cell doors. Hey, don't you owe me a drink? Shut. about that dice game? <clears throat>
Prison personnel will stay clear of the interrogation room until the representative from the Abbey has certified it is free of any heretic corruption. Favor. Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Down. I think I... Oh. I have to carry her out. Section B. Quarantine until further notice. Prisoners who have been transferred from Section B will be observing points of infection. She's beaten, but not dead. See that her wounds get attention. 
It will be done. All quiet, sir. Ready to go. Let's go. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place and the riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Or are you too busy making dresses? Somebody you get over here! Go down, you pig! You're no scrapper! Stop! Come on! Get this guy! Cry for mommy! I'll gut you like a river hog! You'll sleep in the river mud tonight. That's what happens when you tangle with a daddy.
come and get me? Or won't your mommy let you? You guys take orders from Trimble now, is that it? A nurse? You gonna teat on him? Had her! Now and forever! I'll cut you up like a slaughterhouse whale. You hear me? Are you missing something, little eels? I got a little something for you. Might burn a little, though. Drive him back into the river! Draper's Ward is our place now. Somebody, give me a hand. This is gonna hurt. Tonight. That's another one for me. Quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. I'm almost out of boards. Don't look at me. Try Jerome's in the apartment up there. I heard he was a cheat. Let me just a few. Caught out when the dead eels come across the canal? No thanks. Every man for himself. Had her pride. I'm touched. Password system. The Hatters are getting organized. What's the password? I seem to have forgotten it. Nice try, River Rat. Get lost. I admit, I'm stymied. I thought dragging it up out of the mud was a hard part, but I have no idea how to open it. Hammers? Really? Look at that thing. You think hammers will break it open? Explosives. Sure, the sound brings everyone running. Then we gotta share. And what if it costs some eels, huh? There must be a way. Think what could be in there. You know what would be funny? If it wasn't locked. What? Of course it's locked. Look at it. You mean you haven't even tried it. What do you think I am? Stupid?
thought I was finished. They'll never believe who saved me. Welcome to the Draper's Ward Salvage and Resale, or the Black Market if you'd prefer. It's Dowd, right? Recognized your face from the posters. Not that I'd ever say anything to anyone, believe me. I'd be happy to have you for a customer. What are you selling? The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. Say, would you consider doing a job for me? There's a man whose debt to me is well past due. I'm not a bill collector. I don't want the money. I want his head. I pay you well. And you can use the money to buy things from me. I'll do it. Huh. Thank you. Skinflint is a chain smoker. He likes to light up in the old canal tunnel and play Nancy for coin. I'd start there. Make an example of him. Got it. Now well, let me see what you've got. Please, take your pick.
hope you're keeping my little job in mind. Skin Flint is dead. Thank you. I hope this expresses my gratitude. The best of Draper's Ward, all for sale. Understand doing what's got to be done, but we revealed. Lizzie kept to a deal once she'd made it. She weren't no cheat. Exactly. After last night, I don't know who's going to buy from us. I can tell so much about... Who are you? Are you with her? With her? Delilah. Are you with her? No, but you don't have any roses. What can you tell me about Delilah? I used to make clothing for the Caldwins, you see. I adored them, especially young, precocious Emily. She was such a delight. Did you ever meet the Empress? She was so special, and I was able to count her among my friends. I had a lock of hair from young Emily, a keepsake given to me by the family when my hands grew too stiff and clumsy to work the needle. I have treasured it so. And Delilah? She visited me here. Such a surprise to see her, all grown up, so serious. Did you know she was once a playmate of Jessamine's? Before she was Empress, when they were both little. I thought it was a cordial visit at first, but it turned... frightening. What happened? She made things come out of the shadows, long and grasping. I can still feel the cold on my neck. I sound mad, don't I? Perhaps I am. She questioned me, and left me propped in the corner like a bolt of cloth. I couldn't move for three nights, while she made the horrid markings you see now. Then, she stole my only keepsake. My lock of hair from dear, sweet Emily. Ah, Emily, where are you? Damn that Corvo, and damn Delilah. Emily, she was such a sweet girl. I think Delilah may be insane. How did it pass me by? All the others down with the sickness. The gangs here leave me alone. Probably because Mortimer Hatt used to respect my work. In better days. <laughs>
Redfield's a hard man, but he's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. Still see him squirming for air. Yeah, how's he gonna top that? Hey! Huh. Edgar Wakefield is on board the Undine. He's put all of the eels on alert since Lizzie's rumored to have escaped from Coldridge. He's expecting her. You will undoubtedly be a surprise to him. There's the boat. Wakefield's probably keeping himself below decks. Whatever I do to him, it will be a mercy compared to what Lizzie has in mind. I can't believe we're missing the boil party. Luxury. Sitting next to the river. Or canal, at least. Just waiting to be taken. All those prancing nobles in their fancy masks. Strip them of their jewels and set them on fire. Finest time in the world. Drown them. Drowning's worse. Set on fire's worse. Drowned is worse. You ever see a man set on fire? What does he do? <laughs> he jumps in the water. Very funny. I hear Lord Shaw is making his way to the party by boat with only two bodyguards. What? How do you hear things like that? I have some connections. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. You ever get that creepy feeling of being watched? I've had that a bunch lately. Funny you ask that. I had this feeling of eyes on me. I looked up on the roof of that building over there and... There was a lady up there, right? I seen her too, just staring. Then she was... Gone, in a wink. Yeah, we seen the same thing. Should we tell the others about it? Uh, no. The others might think we're seeing things. First sign of the plague from what I hear. Out. 
This is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. You keep surprising me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Cold Ridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder, are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over. And when the music stops, we all fall down. Doing over a cold. Lizzie's boat is smaller than I remember. Time to signal Lizzie.
Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wake set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Are you daft or something? Thinking about filing my teeth, like Lizzie Stride. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the header gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The geezer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So be real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. You left Wakefield alive? You can decide what to do with him. My mind is racing. Does he still have both eyes? I'm not saying don't kill the geezer. Just don't be stupid about it. Engine coils are hard to find now. Most of them were scavenged for scrap when the blockade started. <clears throat> Who is your second? Billy? Benny? How'd that turn out? Without that engine coil, we're stuck here. Just because he can do strange things, doesn't mean there's an invisible man watching us. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. Are you supposed to be scary? Come sit on my lap, tough guy. Are you supposed to be scary? are you looking at?
What's the password? Whalebone. Come in, Hatter. Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Who just went through here? The Empress did. Corvo Otana with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. Keep your hat on. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate, it don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well, since you're such a genius, it ought to be real easy to see who it was. So go check it out. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing. Wakefield's miscalculated badly. I predicted this would happen, of course. A man like Wakefield knows which end of a knife is for stabbing, but not much else. What's that? Oh, stop complaining, old man. I'm giving you a legacy. What were the Hatters before I arrived? I'll tell you. 
A shadow of their former selves. The butt of numerous jokes, in fact. Why did the Hatter piss in his own hat? What did the Hatter do with his last bullet? And so on. The answers aren't worth repeating. Leadership. That's what was missing. What with the embarrassing defeat at the hands of the Bottle Street Boys, of all things. <laughs> there now. You mustn't become agitated. You'll inflame your arteries, which will only cause you unneeded agony. I can ease the pain, but only if you promise to behave yourself. No? Ah, that reminds me. I must see Jerome about getting more ox rush. I'm fresh out. My name's Dowd. I'm looking for Lizzie Stride's missing engine coil. I'm giving you a chance to make a deal. It's a good job, it's just a big thing I'm out of. Hmm. Yes, sir. Very reasonable offer. Geezer here says you're in luck. We only need that engine coil because someone shut off the flow that turns our water wheel. I sent men into the sewers to restore the flow and not one of them came back. But what stopped them won't be a problem for the famous Dowd, will it? When the water flows, I'll give you the engine coil. Here's the key to the sewer entrance. And it's a pleasure to do business with you, Mr. Dowd. The Hatters will behave themselves, as long as you keep your end of the bargain, Dowd. <coughs> I lost a man named Pete down there. Keep an eye out. The eels could be on watch in there. Those sewers date back to well before the Caldwin dynasty. No telling what's in there. I'm sure the great Dowd isn't afraid of what's down there. No. 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 I can't. Please don't disturb him. Our chief needs his rest.
This whole place has gone to the hounds. position he says to bring a bottle of Doubt you'll be needing this again. She caught that hatter easy enough. That fool. What if Dowd comes this way? He won't fall for a pretty face and a few tears. Then so much for our little sister. But we'll make sure the job is done.
I was looking for my little boy. He's not well, and I fell down here. I hurt my leg. Hello? You're not a weeper, are you? I think I can walk if you'll just help me up. I almost had you downed. You could have had an easy death. Tell me what Delilah's doing at Brigmore. Why ask? When the change comes, you won't even notice. You'll never even know how we won. But when Delilah sits the secret throne, our reign will never end. That's enough. The gangs are at each other's throats. Dowd is mired here. You'll have the time you need. And the portrait of the girl, is it? Excuse me, my lady. You're right. I should not have asked. Lurk told me you wouldn't give up, even as she knelt before me and gave me all your secrets. I know what you're doing, Dad. I know what that mark on your hand is, just like the one on mine. I know everything you can do, and it won't matter. Four of us chosen, but history will only remember one. Delilah. If they remember any of us. us out of the way when her little ritual is all said and done. Why? Don't be dense. She's afraid of us. When the change comes, she'll only want the weaker sisters nearby. That makes no sense. Our power flows from Delilah. Without her, we'd be reduced to dancing under the moon in parlor tricks. You must be wrong. Why else would she put us here, right in his path? I wish he'd hurry up and come already.
putting it together, aren't you? It's not easy. Delilah is exceedingly bright. Her coven is rising, with her as the night star to guide them. Change is coming, and Delilah has a plan. But do you, Dowd? And I don't mean stealing an engine coil or slitting an old man's throat. You're charging upriver, and I do believe you'll make it. But what will you do with what you find there? done, but I don't think you'll see your men again. Caesar says a deal's a deal. The code is 387. No fighting. Wonder how long that'll last. It feels weird, not fighting them. More time for business. We need to start moving goods again. But now what? Are we gonna get rich, get old and fat? Start going to parties at the Boyle Sisters?
Here's a surprise. The job's done and the fighting stopped. Next you'll be running for high overseer. Reattach that coil and we'll start up river tonight. Careful with the coil. Plug it in the engine and we'll put this place behind us. The dead eels will hold the line while I'm gone. I won't mind putting Dunmaw behind me for a day or two. On the way, you can explain what you're getting me into upriver. You are an endless source of adventure, Dowd. Please, do the honors, Dowd. Fire up the engine from the bridge. Get us underway. I left Wakefield alive when I found him. Sure, but you left him on my ship. Turns out the Undine's not a safe place to take a nap. All kinds of dangerous things lying about. Gaff hooks, sharp knives, rusty chains. Got it. I'm ready to put Cold Ridge far behind us. Soon we'll be back out on the river. Things will be right. The Brigmars were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. I scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing. But I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. Strange doings, sir. I killed a hound in the yard, 
and it got straight back up and went for me. I had to crush its skull to be sure. I miss Dunwall's shadows and alleys. There are things hiding in the mist here. These masks prove useful yet again. I prefer not to breathe the air here. Fascinating what others do with their gifts. I'd say we're much more practical. I wonder what the old Brigmore family would say if they knew witches and assassins would one day prowl in their gardens and cellars. Doesn't it seem suspect that the outsider pits us against others who bear his mark? Direct me. Dowd, what is your will? Who should I silence? Where should I go? Everything is in order, sir.
see this place without thinking of what we found here. So tragic. So mawkish, more like. Why do you obsess about that butler and his tramp? He drowned thinking of his love. He was a thief. He drowned thinking of what Lord Brigmore would do if he was caught. I like to imagine he was more devoted than that. He's still there, you know, rotting in the water. Why don't you go and give him a kiss? There's not much left of his face, but you can always imagine there's more. Why do you ruin everything? One of them she sent to Draper's ward was supposed to bring me back a copper teapot. What in the void do you want that for? When's the last time we had proper tea? Last week, but the leaves were nearly dust. It still put the taste on my tongue. Wouldn't mind a bit more. And we'll find some, maybe on some passing boat. Maybe there'll be a trader wagon coming through. Not with the plague on the city. Everyone knows the dead don't buy tea, or anything else. Still, if I get that copper pot, I'll be halfway there. You're moon mad, sister. Ever optimistic. Does Lady Delilah favor me, do you think? Has she mentioned me? Oh yes, my dear. Oh yes. 
Don't think I'm on your side, because I'm not. If you raise a hand to any of my sisters but Delilah, you'll answer to me. Understood. What have you got? When her ritual's done, Emily Caldwin's mind will be gone, and Delilah will look out through her eyes the rest of her life. And Delilah will rule as Empress. That's up to you. I've got my money. That's all I need. Wait. What about a way in? Use the crypt. There's a lever that opens one of the tombs. The lever is kept in the shed. That's all I can tell you. I grow sick of this assassin. The other sisters speak of him with a tiny shudder of awe in their voices, like stupid schoolgirls. Don't worry, love. The hounds will warn us, or the statues, and then we'll descend on him like a murder of crows, and we'll pick his bones clean.
Oh, yes, my dear. I thought the flooded district was run down. No, don't make me eat anymore. I can't. Brother Marcus, I denounce, I denounce the Abbey. Wandering gaze, lying tongue, restless hands, roving feet, rev, rev it. The seven strictures are seven lies. The high overseer is the whelp of a wolfhound. The seven strictures are seven lies. Seven lies. Seven lies. Denounce the oracles. Yes. The oracles. They, they saw. The Coldwood girl is the key. The girl in the painting. Where's Delilah? We'll boil these bones tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> Nina 
in the tower. I need to tell Delilah. Didn't you hear? She finished painting the air. It's flawless. She's begun the final phase. Then she's in the void already. Yes, it won't be long now. All of our patience and work will be rewarded. But what happened to Melina? Is she... Don't worry. She made them pay first. So Delilah wants to use Emily to become Empress. I'm glad I found you. Is the painting of the void sealed? Yes. I put the lantern back in Our Lady's studio. It'll be ready when she calls. Hmm. But I don't think Delilah will return this way. 
When she calls us, it will be to Dunwall Tower. Probably true. Evie, may I confess something to you? Promise not to tell the others. Of course. You can always confide in me. When I was in the studio, I painted the mark on my hand just to see. It was foolish, I know, but I couldn't help myself. Never be ashamed of your ambition. It's why she chose you. Thank you. Your words are always exactly what I need, Evie. If only my birth sisters had been more like you. Well, if they had, they'd still be alive, wouldn't they? I think that Rolf Wilde's gone missing from his slaughterhouse. There's chaos on the killing floor. Lord Ramsay or one of the others will move in. The city needs whale oil. Let them tear each other apart. We'll feast on the spoils. Lady Delilah favor me. Mm. Has she mentioned me? Really, sister. You ought to have your mind on more important <clears throat>
that I cannot be at Delilah's side during the final moments of the ritual. She's alone. What if something goes wrong? Who will help her? Doesn't it worry you? You underestimate our great lady's resourcefulness. She is not alone. Not entirely. The statues. Of course. They're more than statues. She's put her will in them. And in the void, their power is much greater. Do not fret, sweet Tilda. Lady Delilah needs you to be strong and steadfast. This is no time to wilt like a summer daisy. I won't. Forgive me, sister. You're right. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention. The Void. Time to see what you've really got, Delilah. in the same style as Emily's portrait. Emily Caldwin, daughter of Jessamine Caldwin, heir to the Empire of the Isles. I call out to you from the void. I call you with ochre from Morley, carmine beetle shells, zirconin lazurite, viridian bile. The tones of your flesh I tempered with pandician chalk. 
The same loom that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. Emily, you cannot ignore me. My power is too deep. My reach too long. Brush touches paint. Brush touches canvas. Brush touches void. And now I see you, Emily Colburn. I breathe your breath. I can feel what you do. The bright mornings in the pub. I feel the cold night air of the ruin where you sleep. And the stink of the river. Image strikes the eye. Eye touches the mind. Mind touches the void. I feel your love for Corvo Atana and your lost mother. For your caretaker, Callista. I feel your fear in the night. Your hunger to learn. To become someone important. My hunger, too. My fear. You are becoming mine. We are nearly finished. Close your eyes, Emily. Sleep forever. Feel the void open beneath you. Make room for me. Give in to me, Emily. Give in to me now! Paint flows. Blood flows. Life goes. Out with the old, in with the new. You've lived in these bones long enough, sweet young girl. Finished. It is complete. I am... What? What's happening? This is all wrong! What am I becoming? Outsider's blood? Is this some trick? Go! No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Sirkonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. plea for a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Coldridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, 
outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.